Bonjour, my beautiful and lovely friends. I'm coming to you from the side of the Magnifique World Showcase Lagoon on a very, very special day. Today, I get to ride the rat. That is right, folks. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is having the very first day of annual pass holder previews, and I'm here at Epcot to check it out. Woohoo! Go me! I got a reservation for the first day. I will say, I for one am all for the theme parkinization of the World Showcase. It's a brand new word I just made up. I want there to be a ride like Ratatouille in every single World Showcase pavilion. And this park, Epcot, will become a mega park. I think that'd be pretty cool. But we gotta go see Ratatouille, right? So let's uh, not waste any time. Let's head straight over there. Oh, they got this all walled off. Luckily, this area is pretty small, so it's going to be really easy to cover. Ready? Boom. This is La Creperie. La, La Creperie. The, this is the food place here in the French Pavilion. They got quick service. They got table service over here. Souvenirs. And then down this way is the ride. Bam. That was easy. It's quite a line of people wanting to take pictures with the fountain right over here. Na, na. Look at that. Brand new ride sign. How cool is that, huh? So the cool thing about this annual pass holder preview is once you are inside this area of the park, once you're inside the new Ratatouille area, you can ride the ride as many times as you'd like. But if you leave, you're done. So you can stay here for as long. It's not like you got like an hour or anything like that. The ride is posted at a 25 minute wait right now. I don't know how this queue works. I'm a little bit skeptical because it is pretty long, but I will get in line for the ride, I guess. Let's go straight to it. I will try and take in some of the details of this area. After my first ride through, I think I'm gonna try to go for two times, but this is a really, really pretty area. And you know, it's got that brand new theme park land smell. Everything is so fresh and clean. All right, let's get in line for Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. What a lengthy little long queue this ride has. Surely this is going to be used for a very, very long time since this is the brand new ride for the 50th anniversary. For those who are curious, yes, they play that one song from Ratatouille pretty frequently here, but I have got no complaints because I love it. Cute wallpaper in this section of the queue. It's Remy and Emile. Oh, this is so cool. I wonder if Gusto is supposed to come alive and talk or something. Oh my gosh, he did. What a cute little room they got here. Look at all these easels and the screen, giving people instructions on how to ride. Look at the view of France. What a fun little loading station. They got two sides over here, heading over to number four. Thank you. Very cool. Very, very cool. Look at those little rats go, those little trackless rats. All right, little brown rat, here we go. This is our little squad of rats here, I think. Oh. Goodbye. Let's go, Emil. What are you doing? 
so good in here. Okay, so just got off the ride, off the hip impressions. I had like an Anton ego moment. If you remember sort of the villain from this movie, he's very bitter and cynical, and then he tries the ratatouille and he goes, and he takes him back to his childhood and he loves it and he's happy. Uh, I was ready to like not really like this ride. I was really, really upset that this was the only ride we were getting for the 50th anniversary. It's not bad. It's actually, it's very cute and it's very pleasant. I was kind of had a little soft smile the whole time I was riding. I really, really enjoyed it. Cool thing about this ride is there's no high requirements. So all the kids can ride it. Everybody can jump on. It's not an intense ride by any means. There is some slight spinning every so often, but it's not like teacup level spinning. There's like a little baby bit of motion where it goes tick, tilts like that. It's like absolutely minimal. The least amount you can do so that there can be no height requirement. And this is like the third trackless ride that Disney has opened up in a row. I like this so much more than Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And you know why? You know why? Come here, come here. There's physical sets. It's not just all screens. It's a really cool ride because of that. And I actually really, really enjoyed it. Now. Do I think this is a wake up at 7 a.m. and get a boarding group ride? No, I don't think that at all. I think this is a really cute ride that exists perfectly and I hope they drop that boarding group system as soon as possible. Hoping they do that for Spider-Man over in California as well. But it was it was very cute, but I, I did enjoy the ride. You could smell, you could feel the heat, the screens were fine. It was very, very cool. And the, the dialogue was the same as the French ride where they switched from English to French. So it felt like I was at Disneyland Paris. How cool is that, huh? That was really, really fun. And now it seems like this area is dying down. That queue has a lot less people in it than before. The ride is posted at a 20 minute wait. And I would say that's actually pretty accurate. So I will definitely go on this maybe one or two more times. But I think I'm gonna try and eat some food. Uh, maybe look at some merchandise as well before we do that. Oh my gosh. Hey, you have a rat on you. I don't know if you see that, or you seem to be okay with it, actually. Very, very cool. All right, perfect. It comes in Remy, too. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What's this little hat? What does this little hat do? He's lighting up in there. If you wear this at night, you can see Remy dancing around in the hat, and then, and then he should, <laughs> he should take his time very to climb slowly up to the top of the hat, and, 
Okay, come on, Remy. Let's come on. Let's wrap it up, buddy. Well, they just lost a customer. I'm definitely not buying that. <laughs> but that's what happens. He pops out. Oh, this is a cute little Remy plush, and I would buy this if I was a plush person. He got some Remy Ratatouille Adventure ears over here. I wonder if there's a little rat inside. Probably not. Still very cute. We are gonna do the quick service location here. I think I'm gonna go for a galette, a savory crepe. I think I'm gonna get that brie cheese or I don't know actually. Hold on, there was one I saw here that looked really, really good. We are here in France near the iconic Chef Gusteau's with Chef Remy. It only made sense to get the ratatouille galette. This is eggplant, tomato, zucchini. This is a savory crepe. They serve sweet and savory, and the sweet is your typical sort of like, oh, you know, the hazelnut and the ice cream and stuff. This is from their savory menu. I heard it was pretty good. Uh, I got a fork and knife because I don't really know how to eat this, but I'm gonna try and cut into it and give you my thoughts. All right, I've got my ratatouille galette here. I think we're gonna give the honorary first bite to Jojo. What? Come here, Jojo, here. I got you something. It's a ratatouille crepe. It's a ra ra It is. Okay. You get the first bite. Tell me how it is. Have you had ratatouille before? Yes. Okay, well then hopefully it's good. It's made by Chef Remy himself. Nice. <laughs> Gives me a piece and I... I know, know, yeah, great job. That's good. Is it good? Yeah. Cool, cool. I well, like I'm it. I'm excited to try it out. The ratatouille crepe was... It was okay. I think I preferred the ratatouille that they serve during one of the festivals, I think it was Food and Arts. I like that a little bit more. I think kind of picking at it with a fork and having the slices of the vegetables is a little better than having it in the crepe. But I did like whatever the buckwheat was. That's what they used to sort of wrap it. That actually tasted really good. And I would come back for some more of those savory crepes. I'm definitely more of a savory versus a sweet kind of guy. This place is really, really thinned out. It's like there were only people who here for the 12 o'clock reservation or something, but Ratatouille looks to be pretty much like a 10 minute wait or a walk on. So I guess, Jojo, you want to yeah. go ride Ratatouille? Yes, sir. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Feel free to stay in the queue if you would like. However, if you would like to come back at a later time today, we will honor that. Sorry, Jojo. I uh, I rode the ride, so I'm going to leave. <laughs> you you have fun. Good luck, man. It's a great ride. You'll like it. Very cute. All fooey Ratatouille. Looks like I only get to ride it once. Darn it. But that's OK. I'm going to have many, many opportunities to go on this ride and I'm glad I got it that one time. It was very, very cool. This is a very, very pretty little area. I do like this quite a bit and these past solar previews give you a really great opportunity to explore while well, it's nice and quiet and there's not a thousand people here because you know this place is going to get slammed on October 1st. Fun detail that's kind of tucked away in the corner over here. This is Linguini and Colette's motorcycle and Vespa? A scooter? Whatever. Very cool, I like this. This is a good fun little photo op right here. A little hidden Mickey right here. Right over here, check it out. Mickey's ears, one, two, three. This, this, did we celebrate Little Chef? And then that, I, I don't know. I took French in high school and I got an F. An F for French. So forgive me if my pronunciation in this video is not the best, because it is not the best. Like I said at the start of the video, I want to ride like this in every World Showcase Pavilion. I think that would be so cool. I really, really enjoyed this ride. I thought it was very, very cute. And while I'm not the most excited to wake up at 7 a.m. and get a boarding group for Ratatouille when it opens up officially on October 1st, I will be happy to ride it. And hopefully it will be an easy boarding group to get that you can get later in the day and then be able to ride later in the day because this is a very pleasant ride that does a lot of things right. And it's fun, it's good for the whole family. I enjoyed it. It gets a thumbs up from me. Welcome to Walt Disney World, Ratatouille. Bienvenue à Walt Disney World, Ratatouille. I gotta stop with the awful French. I apologize, but that is all I've got, folks. So, hey, thank you guys for watching. Vince and Vision, I hope you guys enjoyed this little annual Passholder preview. I enjoyed it a lot as well. October 1st is going to be really, really fun. I have a reservation for Epcot on October 1st. What am I going to do now that I've seen this whole area? I guess probably do the ride again, see the new fireworks show, Harmonious. But this is very, very cool. Get some more crepes too. We'll see. Until then, thank you guys for watching and uh, au revoir. That means goodbye in French. Farewell. Bye-bye.